Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we are going to figure out how to wire HAP controls into an arcade 1UP Mortal Kombat machine. Yes, that's right. We are going to put actual HAP controls into this arcade 1UP. Because I see a lot of people out there putting uh, uh, Sanwa and other joysticks into their... Uh, Mortal Kombat arcade one-up machines and while that's fine and you know a lot of people really like Sanwa sticks so I'm not here to debate that uh, It's not completely authentic for what was originally in those machines What was originally in those machines were these half joysticks and I, I just wanted to show you guys that it can be done and it's actually quite a bit easier than people realize it is not that difficult to do and we're going to do it all by using stock wires that came with the machine. So you're not going to have to buy any new wires, anything like that. You are going to have to make a couple of purchases, and we'll get to that uh, shortly. But you will not have to be rewiring anything. And then uh, another thing is you will not have to Dremel anything on, on the joysticks. Some people have been putting hap, some hap sticks into the Street Fighter arcade one-up machine and they have reported that you do have to dremel off a piece of it to make it fit right because it gets in the way with the buttons but you do not have to do it on this machine there is enough room where you do not have to dremel anything so that is a big big bonus a big plus and uh and one real quick i'm going to take a little side note before we get going into this and I just wanted to discuss the difference between uh, Industrious Lorenzo and the Suzo Hap uh, joysticks. Uh, originally, what was in these machines, Mortal Kombat and the Street Fighter, original arcade machines, were Hap buttons and joysticks. Well, sometime in the late 90s, uh, the original Hap company was going out of business, and this other company named Suzo bought the molds to the... To, the, to their joysticks well the original joysticks uh, somehow I think there was the original creator of it uh, he's continued to make joysticks but no longer under the half name it's actually under the industrious Lorenzo name and you can get the industrious Lorenzo Euro stick which I have uh, one of those in my XRK tank stick the only big difference that I have seen in the two is that the uh, industrious Lorenzo has a white nylon actuator in the base of the joystick where these Suzo haps here they have a black plastic one the one on the on the IL Euro stick is better it is a little nicer but uh, all kidding aside these uh, Suzo hap sticks are great and you can get a great deal on them I actually purchased them from a guy named uh, Tornado Terry's on eBay I'll put a link to his store in, in my description it's a great place to go to buy these sticks. So I just wanted to, to kind of get into that real quick and before I went any further. Uh, but before I get into the actual wiring and everything that goes into the uh, machine, let me just say, if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It's so important. All right, so let's get into it after this short break. Now here we go with the tools that I used for this uh, project here. And we, you can see I have uh, a wire splitter. You're gonna need a decent pair of wire splitters. I have a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and just some needle nose pliers. Uh, all pretty basic tools, nothing uh, extraordinary, but you will need a pair of wire strippers if you don't have one of those. You know available you are gonna have to purchase one of those as well and then uh, here is one of the two purchases that you're going to have to buy at the hardware store and that is wire crimping terminals uh, these are the ones that I bought there was a few different ones at the store I just kind of picked these ones and went with them and they worked fine uh, maybe for some higher end electrical stuff you need to be you know a little bit more careful on which ones you get but as far as for these arcade one-ups I would say any one of these will be perfectly acceptable uh, just you know cheapest the better which I think these were like uh, $2.99 for or this pack of 20 something like that 
And then here are some screws. You are going to need some screws to attach the joysticks on the inside of the control panel. Um, I just went to the hardware store and just looked for, you know, I actually bought uh, two different size screws because I didn't want to mess it up. And these are not the ones that actually ended up in my build. Uh, these are the ones that were a little bit too big. So I went with one size a little bit smaller than this. But, you know, you just you know, use your best judgment and, and get, you know, a couple of different kinds of screws that you think will work for your build. So this is how the, the original arcade one-up buttons are actually connected in this machine which is really really fortunate for us that want to do these mods because you can see all these buttons come with wire crimping terminals already attached to them which is a pretty big bonus but I will say right now the the ones that are pictured here that come in the machine they are one the next size smaller than the ones that are going to attach to the new joysticks but you, that's okay you can uh, you can kind of bend them out that's where the flathead screwdriver comes into you know play as I actually held them with the pliers on one end and kind of stuck the flathead screwdriver in there to kind of stretch it out and then uh, and then I kind of shimmied it onto the new micro switch and that's how I got it to, to attach so you're gonna have to bend the metal that that is one possible way to do it, which it's it, it might it's not as difficult as it appears, especially if you use the needle nose pliers and kind of just shimmy it on there. This metal is not that strong. The other way you can do it is you could actually snip these off and you could attach the new uh, wire crimping terminals to these old wires and then it will fit perfectly. So that is the two methods you can do it. I actually just did it the way with a stretching them out there and it works completely fine but you could do it the other way if you so choose to do that and then here we see this uh, this is kind of like the my before picture so you can get a good kind of a view of everything although I will say all the buttons on the left are, are I had already replaced them at this point I didn't take an actual completely pure uh, before picture unfortunately so I apologize for that but so so you can see the difference right there uh, between the two kinds of buttons but those are still the original arcade one-up joysticks in there and uh, so just kind of view this as my like before picture before we get going into the whole thing and then uh, right here I, I, I zoomed in here to give you guys a good look here and it's so when you attach the new terminals these are the ones you're going to want to use. The one on the top is the ground, and then you're going to want to use the one right below that. Uh, so the, make sure for all, whether it's the buttons or the joysticks, that you use these two. And as you can, you can also see there that even though I kept the original uh, terminals on there, it, it can they can get stretched out and they they fit on fairly decently. And in this right here, I just wanted to show you how. I actually attached all the wires because uh, I tried using my fingers originally and it was tearing my fingers up so I want you guys to learn from some of my mistakes and use your needle nose pliers to kind of shimmy the you know parts on you know the, for the old uh, crimping terminals onto the the new micro switches it'll really save your fingers and you can let the let the tools do the work there because you're really going to have to force it on there to you know bend it on there but again it does bend and you can see here this is just a little you know walk through of how I did it and it just like I said you can just shimmy them on there and they will go and you're not going to mess anything up it, it'll work out fine uh, try not to worry too much and, and while I'm on the topic uh, I tried to put, try to keep it somewhat s similar on putting the same wires in the same spots as far as on each individual micro switch, but I don't think that it matters. I don't think that it, you, you don't have, there is no like positive and negative on these uh, joysticks and buttons. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but everything I did, it worked perfectly fine on the first try. I didn't have to 
change anything out. There was no... Uh, so either I did... I wired everything perfectly the first time, which I highly, highly doubt it. You know, it, odds are it just... It doesn't matter which wire goes on which terminal. It... it it just works out so I would you know I wouldn't worry too much about that in my in my earlier photo I showed you guys how I did the the some of the buttons before I did the joysticks but again learn from my mistakes and don't do it that way do the joysticks first and and to make it easy so you guys can you know because how I did it was I would you know cut the yellow wires from the old one and then match it up to where it would go on the new joystick and then I would put the yellow wires there you know and then I did the red and then black and blue etc but it's really kind of a pain in the butt and harder to do it that way um, honestly I should probably should have taken a picture and just cut the whole thing out but uh, to make it easier for you guys I'm gonna tell you right now that you know you can look at this picture or red goes in the lower right black in the upper right green in the upper left and yellow in the lower left again that is red in the lower right black in the upper right green in the upper left and yellow in the lower left if you put them the nose the old wires on the new joystick in that order you will not have a problem whatsoever and then when it comes to you know crimping these wires uh, I'm, I'm just going to assume that maybe some of you guys are completely new to all this. You know, I'm not an experienced, super experienced when it comes to electrical stuff myself. I, it's it's one of my weaker things. I mean, I will be honest. I have I have messed around with my uh, X Arcade uh, joystick, so I've done some uh, arcade work there. But I am not an not an electrician. I am just you know a newbie like anybody else. I've watched some YouTube videos for help, but so at your, after you get the wire in there, after you split it, you know, get the get the rubber off of it, and you and you put the wire in the hole. You know, it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory, but just make sure you get a good crimp on there, and just squeeze down with the with the wire splitter here, so it's held on good. Because there was a couple of times. That it fell off while I was doing it, and then I would I would have to redo the crimping terminal, and I went through a handful. I'm glad I bought two packages of them. I will say that because I de definitely went through a lot of them, and that was just doing the two joysticks. So if you do if you do all the buttons, it will be even uh, even more difficult. Here's the new uh, HAP joystick on here, and as you can see how I how I said there, the, you know the wires. You know, red in the lower right, black in the upper right, green in the upper left, and yellow in the lower left. And again, just like the buttons, you know, you, you want to use those same two uh, terminals there. You know, the, the, the top two, if you will. Don't use that bottom one. And then, uh, real quickly, as I was talking before, you know, there's the, the, the black actuator there in the, in the middle where the IL Euro stick has a white nylon one. So that is uh, one of the differences. The black case that comes in your arcade one up underneath the control panel will not fit back on because of one little piece that I will uh, show you that in a second, but it will not fit on because of there. And, and that is the one uh, little minor issue but I haven't had any problems with it. And then here we go so you guys can get a little video footage. This is my completed one. But again, don't don't worry too much. It's it's much easier than you would expect. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You can see that there's that actuator I was talking about. That's a uh, there's a white one in the IL Euro sticks. That's a really only difference between the two sticks that I've seen. But it's fairly straightforward. You just kind of take your time, 
do it one like I said do the joysticks first and then go back and do the buttons because the joysticks are more difficult the hardest part for me was actually centering the joysticks in the holes that that was probably one of the more challenging and then this right here is what I was talking about that's why you can't put the black case back on and you're gonna have to bend that in it'll rub up to the side of the of the panel of the of the cabinet but you can just bend it up there a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. You don't need to worry about it too much. As long as your wire doesn't come loose, you know, you could even uh, throw some duct tape on it if you wanted to, or electrical wiring, I should say, or electrical tape. But see right there, it just I just bent it up a little bit to give it some room. But it just, it, it, it throws everything off the black case, so that just won't go back on. And then you just hear some more images and of everything I mean I really hope you guys find this uh, helpful it's I, I was really pleasantly surprised with how easy this was to do I was expecting it to be much worse and the fact that you don't have to dremel anything is just absolutely amazing which I haven't heard anybody talk about that and again here's some more so you can just see how everything is attached, get good ideas, good good pictures. That's kind of why I decided to go with pictures instead of actual video so I could uh, show you guys more close up views of certain things. And then because of that one little spot on the that I was talking about where the, it just messes up things a little bit so I recommend putting it in at an angle you won't be able to put it straight on quite as much it, you cuz like I said you're gonna have to bend that one terminal in a little bit and that's just one minor little hiccup but, but once you get it back on you know it doesn't matter and the sticks feel amazing guys absolutely great uh, I would not recommend putting in any other kind in this uh, Mortal Kombat other than maybe the IL Euro sticks if you want to get those but again check out Tornado Terry's eBay store he has he has sticks for this they are $45 with shipping you know you can't really beat that and then the original sticks that were in my Mortal Kombat machine I put in my Street Fighter machine because uh, eventually I might upgrade these to something better but until I get around to doing that I just figure you know these are better than the ones that came in my Street Fighter machine so I put them in there and so here they are they work great so much better than the original sticks because I mean these original Mortal Kombat sticks that Arcade 1 up did they're not they're not terrible by any stretch of the imagination but they're not anywhere near uh, these hap sticks now you know you'll once you get them you'll really see the difference you know and then here I am doing a little bit of gameplay footage and I mean these sticks they're just they're just butter they're amazing I could not be happier you can just pull off the move so much better but I, I will warn you guys a little bit uh, because I had the same feeling when I got my IL Euro stick uh, it, it seems like these sticks they need you need to wear them in a little bit you need to get kind of used to them the, the, it, it takes after, it takes a couple of weeks of having them and playing with them that you really start to appreciate them and and then you'll uh, play other kind of sticks and you'll just be like man they feel like junk compared to these but uh, at first you're like oh it's uh it's a little bit it's a little bit harder to like do like the front flip or the back flip and it's because you you actually have to be a little bit more precise with your actions because there's so much uh, room to move now that that you could just kind of you could barely go that way before and you and you would do the you know the flips and whatnot where now you actually have to make sure you're going in the diagonal you're not just pressing up but but again I, I feel like it that after you get used to them or maybe after the sticks get wore in that that goes away a little bit because I noticed that with my IL Euro stick at first I was like man uh, doing the back and front flip it's not as easy as it used to be but it was just because but now after playing it for a while like I wouldn't have it any other way I just like these sticks so much better 
Well, uh, well, anyways, guys, that is my video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more arcade one-up videos in the future and just arcades in general. And, you know, I have a lot of big things in plan. And I also... Uh, my, my channel is a little bit diverse. I also do a little bit of Lego stuff. That's what I, actually my channel started. And I also do some uh, movie reviews and other things like that. So it's kind of, you know, games, Lego, and movies is kind of like the three big topics of my uh, channel. But uh, right now I've been doing uh, a lot, a lot of gaming stuff. So, so uh, stay tuned for some more Arcade 1-Up and Arcade stuff in general. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll be uh, seeing you guys all again soon. Uh, uh, take care, everybody.